Slenderman was born on the Something Awful forum in 2009. Since then, he has starred in the most frightening creepypasta of the entire internet. He is described as a tall being, with no facial features and tentacles on his back. His harassment often leads people to madness, and his main victims are children. Interesting enough, he's taken part in some animated series for children. Join us to see which ones these have been. This is 5 Slenderman Caught in Popular Kids Shows. Before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With this being said, let's begin. Number 5. Does Slenderman sing along with Anna and Elsa in Frozen? Walt Disney Animation Studios produced in 2013 what would be one of its greatest financial and critical successes. Frozen was awarded two Oscars, one for Best Animated Film and Best Original Song thanks to Let It Go. The story is inspired by the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Snow Queen. However, the final result has large differences to its source. Frozen tells the story of Elsa, a girl who after the death of her parents, takes over the reign of Arendelle. However, for many years, she was hiding a disturbing secret. She produces ice with her hands. Eventually, this ability will cause certain problems that will lead to her exile. Her sister, Princess Anna, will begin a journey to bring her back to the kingdom and this way end the eternal winter. The appearances of the tall man with tentacles in this film have been the reason for multiple disputes throughout the internet. Today, we'll show you two possible cameos, which you can corroborate in official sources. These occurred during the song, For the First Time in Forever, sung by Anna and Elsa. In the context of history, Elsa has decided to open the doors of the kingdom to the public after having been closed for many years. Her younger sister is happy about the fact since she thinks she'll meet the love of her life that day. However, the future queen is worried. She fears her abilities will be discovered. Anna sings to her future love as she walks through the halls of the castle. Playing with the armors and swinging down the stairs, she reaches a window and climbs a scaffold to the top watches the boats and swings. The shot changes and Anna is singing in a forest, the favorite place of our horror character. You must be very careful because his appearance only lasts a few seconds. While the princess turns and the camera does it with her, on the right side between the trees, you can see how Slender Man is present, but disappears almost instantly. The song goes on and seconds later Elsa appears. She walks slowly towards one of the balconies of the palace places both hands on the door handles and goes outside. She watches her guests, among them, almost imperceptible is Slenderman next to a woman in a green dress. Do you think this was a mistake, or did the Disney company send us one of their most famous subliminal messages? Number 4. Slenderman in the Amazing World of Gumball In 2011, Cartoon Network and its creator, Ben Bacolet, released one of the most innovative animated series, The Amazing World of Gumball. It mixes various animation techniques, stop motion, traditional animation, and live action elements. The series revolved around the Watersons, five members of a dysfunctional family. Being the mother, Nicole, the head of the family, and in contrast, Richard, is the irresponsible father who doesn't have a job. However, this wasn't always the case. The episode, The Treasure, presents us with Richard's working past. Although it's hard to believe, he did have a job, but he was also the reason why the company for which he worked for went bankrupt. You're probably wondering how he did it. Well, he bought a star with all the savings of the company. Later in the chapter, Painting, it's shown that from this experience, he's got a serious trauma, and since then, he couldn't have a job anymore. However, in the airing of the episode, The Work, it's shown that the huge pink rabbit has got a job as a pizza delivery man. But all kinds of disasters take place. Every place he visits changes his reality. Water begins to go upwards and pets begin to walk their masters instead of the master walking the pet. At the end of the episode, it's discovered that Richard can't have a job because that would alter the balance of the universe, even to the point of destroying it. It's exactly in this episode the mysterious appearance of Slenderman takes place. If you want to corroborate what we're telling you, watch the eighth episode of the third season. As you can see, the scene begins with Richard on a yellow motorcycle. It goes out of control and begins to alter the reality of the streets. He crosses a traffic light, and the motorcycle blows him through the air. Then he comes to some store windows where there are three mannequin men. Although the three of them were wearing black clothes and had white bodies without faces, it's the man in the middle who reminds us of our terrifying creepypasta character. Can you see it? A man in a suit and tie is standing in the middle of the mannequins. Unfortunately, the scene only lasts a few seconds and these fake people change their masculine appearance to feminine. But what do you think? Do you think it really is Slenderman or is it just a coincidence? Number 3. Slenderman harasses the characters of My Little Pony 
Hasbro has created multiple entertainment franchises. My Little Pony is one of them. Although the animated series is directed mainly to girls between 3 and 8 years old, its popularity has crossed barriers and a greater public has become fond of them. So far, it has been renewed at least four times with modern perspectives to attract a new market. This series has increased sales since its first airing in 2010, raising around $650 million in sales until 2013. As for the story, it revolves around a group of friends who, as the name implies, are very colorful ponies. They usually have long hair and a symbol on one or both sides of their flanks. Twilight Sparkle is the main character of this franchise. She's a unicorn student of Princess Celestia. She has a baby dragon as a sidekick called Spike. At the beginning, Twilight didn't socialize with other ponies, but when Nightmare Moon threatened to destroy the tranquility of her home, she had to join the other ponies to save it. Her new friends would be Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie. The last one is the star of the scene in which Slenderman makes a cameo. The pink pony was really happy. She was jumping up and down. However, she can't resist his excitement and looms towards Applejack, the pony with a hat. Probably. You have to pause the video to watch Slenderman since everything happens very fast. The truth is, behind them, among the bushes, this character of terror is watching them without any apparent reason. This may generate several questions. Will he be watching the ponies, or will he be watching the children who enjoy the series? This possibility is disturbing to us. Whatever the case, we're concerned the producers of My Little Pony are sending this type of subliminal messages to such a young audience, as they're the three-year-olds who usually tune into the series. What do you think of what happened? Do you think what just happened is true, or was it a fake video? Number 2. Gravity Falls Alex Hirsch, along with Disney Channel in 2012, broadcast the first episode of Gravity Falls to the world. This series tells us the occurrences lived by twin brothers Dipper and Mabel Pines on their summer vacations in a fictional town in Oregon. Here the paranormal and supernatural events are the daily bread, and their great uncle Stan has known how to take advantage of it. Throughout its two seasons, the brothers will solve the enigma surrounding Gravity Falls. The cartoon featured 40 episodes and 17 short films and has won 5 awards, including 2 Emmy Awards and 1 Emmy. It shouldn't seem strange to you that a creepypasta character made an appearance in this series. After all, gnomes and avenging ghosts were the main characters of a couple of episodes. The image you're watching shows Dipper and Mabel in a forest. Both are wearing a life jacket, since this happens in the episode in which, along with Suze, they try to discover the monster of the lake. Mabel annoys her brother while he tries to get away from her. However, what they both ignore is that behind a tree, they're being watched by Slenderman, the man who murders children. The image is very credible, since in the lower corner, you can even see the Disney Channel logo. In addition, the Tentacle Man has the same aesthetic of the show. What do you think? Do you think it's real, or is it a montage? On the other hand, this isn't the only evidence we have of his participation in the Disney series. In another episode, while the brothers are watching a note that rests on the ground, Slender Man is behind them with his tentacles open. You can see through the window how the clouds are illuminated by the lightning. In fact, these expose the murderous creature. Do you remember which episode this was? If so, write it down in the comments to watch it again, but this time with a new perspective and a much more terrifying one. Number 1. Slender Man in Bikini Bottom SpongeBob SquarePants is maybe the most popular and longest-running animated series on Nickelodeon. In addition, it has one of the best marketing in the world, only surpassed in sales of merchandise by The Simpsons. Its creator, animator, and marine biologist Steven Hillenburg began working on this idea when he finished producing Rocco's Modern Life. In fact, from this last work, he contacted Tom Kenny to give a voice to Bikini Bottom's most famous Sponge. The series came to light in 1999. Since then, the life and daily routine of SpongeBob and his friends have been told. Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Patrick Starr. In fact, it's around this last character that one of the most troubling and disturbing moments of the 10th season revolves. In fact, it's in our gold position because it's the only interaction Slender Man has had with the character of a children's series. The video you'll see next isn't a cameo or a character in the crowd. Here, the character of the creepypasta chases and harasses Patrick Starr. As you're seeing, our pink character is scared and very paranoid, carrying in his hand an artifact that communicates him with his friend SpongeBob. He asks for help, but the yellow sponge can do very little. Patrick decides to move around with his tears about to come out. He knows something strange is happening. The streets of Bikini Bottom are empty. Not a fish is swimming through the gloomy place. It's at this moment when Patrick Starr stumbles upon a note on the ground. He's surprised by his discovery and decides to take it, believing it to be a piece of paper like any other. To his surprise, in it there's a drawing of Slender Man with multiple words saying no around it. When this sheet is down, we can see on the front page how the same being that was graphed on the paper is watching him from the corner. 
The scene only lasts a few seconds, but it's enough to see how from a lamppost is the tall man with tentacles, reminding us of the video game. Probably this scene is part of a Patrick's dream or has been eliminated from the final cut of an episode. Whatever the case, it's still very disturbing. All right, Top Fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant, for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. But I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There'll be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you'll ever get to read? If not, click the link in the description. Anyway, see you soon.